Hi everyone, so today we're going to move through a beautiful, deeply relaxing yin yoga class. But today we're going to move through with minimal cues. This is backed by popular demand. I know that a lot of you who are a little bit more advanced in your meditation and yoga practice prefer more space to be able to navigate on your own. I also encourage you, if you've been meditating or practicing yoga for a little while, to just experiment with having a little bit more space. I know a lot of my students are surprised to find how far they've come and find that by occasionally practicing with less guidance, they actually develop further. So I will be guiding you through this with options for those of you that have props and options for those of you that don't. And other than that, all that's left to say is just get into your comfy clothes, get your space ready and come and join me on the mat. So if you are working with no props today, you can actually do a lot just with a couple of cushions, maybe even a blanket, just what you've got laying around on the sofa. So if you want to, you can pause the video and go and grab those for yourself now. If you have all the props, the blocks, the bolsters, everything, I will be giving you options to use those as we move through. We're going to begin now in an opening Shavasana. So I'm gonna ask you to lay down onto your back and just make yourself comfortable for the next few minutes. If you have a bolster or a couple of cushions, you could place them under the backs of the knees. And that's a little bit more supportive for the lower back. You could have a nice blanket under the arch of the neck maybe, or a cushion. Or maybe just a blanket over the body, taking the arms down onto the floor. Relaxing your shoulders back into the earth. So parting the feet. Softening through the arms down to the hands. Breathing in and out through the nose, if that feels suitable for you today. And maybe closing the eyes. As you close your eyes, just take a moment to soften the muscles around the eyes, across the forehead. Soften the jaw, the tongue and the throat. And just give yourself a few moments here to begin to release and relax the body. As you soften and relax, allow yourself to shift your attention away from the outside world and start to really bring your attention into this moment.
Just taking a few more moments here. Releasing any layers of obvious tension from the body. Allowing yourself to really arrive within your practice, within your moment. Before we begin, we're going to take three really important deep breaths together. So I'm going to invite you now to breathe in through your nose all the way up to the very top of the breath. Holding it in at the top. And then out through the nose, nice and slow and steady, all the way down to the end. And again, deep breath in. Hold at the top. And release through the nose. One last deep breath in through the nose, all the way up to the top. Hold. And out. Remaining very conscious, very aware of our body and our sensations. Give a little wriggle to the fingers and to the toes. And bring your arms up above you. Maybe clasp the hands together, push the hands away. And stretch through every inch of your body, feeling what that feels like. Release from that, feel that release and roll over onto your right side for a moment, resting your head into your arm. And then pressing your hand into the floor, you can slowly work up to a seated position. So we'll begin in a half butterfly, taking your right foot in towards you and your knee out to the side. This right foot just comes in snug towards that left thigh. Anything that's too strong, too sharp in the knee or in the hip, you get a cushion or a block and you give support to this leg. Anything that's too strong down the back of this leg, again, could be a cushion, a rolled blanket, could be a block underneath this leg and create a little bend. The bigger the bend here, the more gentle this will be down the back of your leg. So let's make our way down there, sitting up nice and tall, create a little length through the spine first, lean forwards, and from there you can begin to relax in now. So letting the spine round, letting the head start to lower. As you relax your neck, your head will drop more and more and you do not have to rush, so very gradual relaxation into the posture. Your arms could be placed to the floor, onto the leg, or even just tucked under the leg. And our final option would be to support the head with a couple of cushions or a bolster lengthways down the leg. And then maybe even a block stacked on top or hands just to rest the head into. So any combination of props that allows you to create a ledge to support the head. Goal here for the rest of the posture now is to just let ourselves be here in the moment. And just slipping into this rhythm of breathing out and letting go. Becoming passive over time.
just a little reminder that any chatter, any thoughts that you don't need, you don't want in the moment will fall away as you breathe out if you allow yourself to breathe out and just let them go. Last few breaths. So nice and slowly easing back. You may have felt that more down the back of the leg. You may have felt that more in the lower back. So you may feel a little stiff in these areas that you've reached as you come out. Bring the knee back to the middle. Resting back onto the hands, taking the feet in and just, just a few drops from side to side. Just a little release before you move to the other side. You're going to take deep, releasing breaths whenever it feels good. Knees back to the middle, taking the right leg down the mat, the left foot comes in, knee out to the side. Remember your options to pad under either leg or to pad in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall, leaning forwards and taking your time about relaxing down into this posture finding your version of it so play around with the support until you find something that feels just right for you and obviously you don't have to have support it's all optional try not to be aggressive with the body try to find something that you feel is reaching you but it's not maxing you out And of course, guys, at any moment during the holding of these postures, if your body wants you to give a little bit more support, take some support away or just adjust in some way, please do. And it's always okay for you to take rests. And just begin that journey again of finding little ways to let go, little ways to soften in.
So as we come towards our last few breaths in this posture, is there anywhere in your body that feels ready to release and relax that maybe hasn't done so far? slowly rolling back from the posture take your time stay soft on the way out as well stay present and we need to just move a little bit here to complement that stillness and release any stiffness that built up in the body so maybe the knees drop from side to side or maybe you have your own way of moving right now okay so we're going to come into what's called frog pose so I'm going to ask you to come into a kneeling position if you're on carpet then you'll probably be okay but uh, you do need to make sure you have cushioning underneath your knees so I'm going to get you to come up onto the blanket with the knees sit back onto your heels take your knees wide keep your big toes together And there's two stages to this. First of all, I'm just going to ask you to walk the hands forwards and make your way down the head towards the mat. You can release your head to your hands or your arms in some way, or you can bring your head all the way down. It is nice to just crawl those fingertips away, lengthening the arms and then relax the arms into this position. You can have a folded blanket or a cushion under the head for support, under the forehead. And if the, the nose feels squished into the floor, having a little ledge for the forehead can be really a lot more comfortable. If what you're feeling through the insides of your legs feels too strong, just take your knees back in a little bit together. So if it's too strong through the shoulders to have your arms straight, you can take a hand down to either elbow. Just let the body give its weight to the floor, finding the passive softness of Ian practice, breath by breath. And just letting yourself breathe down into your belly. So the belly will rise when you breathe in and fall when you breathe out. Just keep finding little ways to let go, whether it's physically letting go or mentally letting go of mental effort. Just know that each time that you breathe out, there's that opportunity there to be able to release to let go of something.
Okay, so we're going to just take a few more breaths here. And now we move this to the next stage. So melting heart posture, lifting the hips, taking the hips forward. The upper body will come forwards too. And we stop once the hips are in alignment with the knees. So imagine a line between your knees. Your hips are going to hover above that line. Your head comes to the floor. Your arms can stretch out in front of you. And we want to. you do want to find a balance point here where you don't feel like you're falling backwards or forwards. So we are melting the heart towards the floor, arching the back, stretching through the chest. And we could either part the knees more or bring them closer together if it feels too intense here. And we could take a hand down to either elbow. And the last thing would be to have a folded blanket or a cushion underneath your chest for a bit of support. Find your version where you're being reached. Your body is being nourished. Nothing is aggressive. Nothing is, nothing is too hard for you to be able to sit with. Remember. We'll take our last few breaths here. Walking the hands back in towards you, dropping back onto your heels. Take your knees in together. Sit to the side. Come around onto your back. So taking your right foot up onto your left knee reaching out to take hold around the back of the left thigh. And if this is feeling way too strong, you can take your foot back down to the floor and take a gentle version. You could even take your left foot up onto a block, a cushion or a bolster, just to elevate your foot up a little bit. But do make sure there's something underneath that foot so that the leg can relax. But if you're taking hold around the back of the thigh, you do have the option to place a cushion under the back of the head. And if you wanted to get even deeper, you could reach up and take hold around that left knee. You might want to close your eyes. So breathing down into that belly, a nice, smooth, even breath. Closing those eyes and just remember that if you wander too far with the mind, that breath is always there at your center, observing, taking in the breath is enough to bring you back into this moment.
taking your foot back down to the floor, releasing the legs, maybe dropping the knees from side to side. And then taking the left foot up onto the right knee. So remembering that you may have a different experience and need a different depth or adjustment on each side of the body. So again, finding your version, we're taking hold around the back of the thigh. This time it's on the right leg. Try to soften your shoulders and if you're over gripping, let that soften a little. So it's okay that some of these postures involve a little bit of activity. We still want to soften around that if we can. Taking your foot back down to the floor and just releasing your legs from this position. And once more moving, either just in your own instinctive way or just dropping those knees down from side to side and just taking deep breaths whenever you need to. So laying flat onto the floor for banana asana. So taking the arms up above you and just walking your feet over to the right. So keep going until you feel stretch, maybe mild down the side of your body. Do not allow though your left hip to come up off of the floor. So you want your body to be flat. You're gonna take your head and your shoulders and shuffle your upper body over to the right as well. Now, little adjustments here. You might want to take hold of a hand or a wrist. You may prefer to just relax your arms and just let them fall out into a Y shape or like a cactus arms. No definite shape has to happen here. So wherever they fall to is fine. For some people, they prefer to take their hands around the back of their head. So just make your arms comfortable and find a little bit of opening through the shoulders. You can also cross your left leg over your right to gain more stretch down the side of the body. And you can walk yourself more into that half moon shape to try to achieve a little bit more depth as well. So just take your time navigating in. Always got plenty of time when we're practicing in. There's no hurry, no rush. When you've found your posture, close those eyes. Soften that body. 
And with each breath out, soften your internal efforts as well. There's nowhere else you need to be. There's nothing else you need to be doing. Just allow yourself to simply be here and breathe. Softening just a little bit more. Mentally and physically. Walking your feet back to the middle and crossing them first. Hugging your knees in towards your chest, rock your knees from side to side a little. Just let yourself be here in this moment. Nowhere else you need to be right now. Straightening the legs down the mat, walking over to the left. Oops. Remember that we want to keep the hips flat, so we don't want to lift the right hip up off of the floor. Both sitting bones should be in contact with the floor. Upper body can shuffle over. Just settling into this little space of time to be able to just put everything to one side and just play around with finding little ways to let go, finding little ways to soften and surrender.
You're walking those feet back to the middle. And either drop the knees from side to side or hug the knees in towards the chest and rock the knees from side to side, releasing in your own way. And we're reminded as we come towards the end of a practice like this just to just to notice how beneficial and how needed that silence was. Silence really is golden and the human spirit, the body, the nervous system, we need that time away from noise and distraction and input. So just feeling how that space and that time helped you to come down off of everyday life and just feeling ready now for a closing shavasana so again make your body comfortable in your own way that may mean a blanket over the body maybe a cushion or a bolster under the legs under the backs of the knees and maybe a cushion under the back of the head so this closing shavasana requires no action there's nothing that you need to achieve during this time just Simply allow yourself to be here and allow your body the time it needs to digest this practice. If you want a point of focus, be with your breath. Take it one breath at a time and just simply watch it come and then watch it go. And I will be quiet now and I will let you know when it's time for you to move once again.
the yogis. Take a deep breath into the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in and out. Having a little wriggle of fingers and toes just to invite some movement back. Taking the arms up above, stretching from head to toe. And then rolling over onto your right side, pausing there for a moment. We're in no rush. Press into your palm. Slowly ease up to seated. Just take a few moments in silence here. Just to be here without needing to do anything. Just take a moment for gratitude before we finish. What are you grateful for in this moment? Is it the practice or your body? Is it the silence? Just bring those palms together in prayer position in front of the chest. Lower the head to the fingertips. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for choosing this practice, yogis. I hope that it was calming and grounding for you. Please do hit that like button if you enjoyed and always keep in contact with me in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. If you would like to hear from me weekly, I have weekly videos on this channel. You can hit subscribe and hit the bell. And lastly, without giving you too much information, I have 21 days of yin yoga available and that is for free it's a 21 day yin yoga challenge and you can find that on my website and i'll pop the link below in the description so until next time yogis i hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening <laughs>